As we all know, it is back to school time, and that means some people are going to be going back with different conditions, such as ticks or Tourette's. And I'm here to offer some tips to those who are going back to school and have trouble dealing with it and maybe just want some advice. I've had ticks for around eight years now, and um, of course they started out not that bad, but I've been going to school and I had to go to school with ticks, so I just want to give some advice. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is email your school or email your teachers and tell them about your tics. Tell them about accommodations you might need. Tell them about what's going to be happening and if there's interruptions during class, if you can leave. I found being able to leave during class very helpful. So if I'm having a tic attack, I can just go to the nurse or I can take a walk around the hallway and just try to calm down and not disturb the class. Also, if you talk to your teachers, you may be allowed to bring in fidget toys and just stuff to help you. Like, your teachers are there to help you and your school is there to help you learn and help you excel. So, telling them what's up will definitely help you in the long run. It's definitely better to let your teachers know before school starts or like just as soon as you possibly can because you want your teachers to know what's up. I can't tell you how many times I got in trouble for having tics in class. So talk to your teachers, it's important. Bring stuff to help you succeed. If you need, bring fidget toys. If you need a stuffed animal or something to bring to hold during tick attacks, that always helps me. Like, no matter what, if I'm having a tick attack, if I'm holding a soft stuffed animal or like sitting with my cat, which you obviously can't bring a cat to school. If I'm holding a soft stuffed animal, it will help me so much during a tick attack. So yeah, just make sure you bring what you need. Don't be afraid of people asking questions. A lot of people are gonna be very confused about your tics and some people are not gonna be that nice. You don't need to put up with them, just ignore them. If you don't wanna talk about your tics, you do not have to, but in my experience, it is much easier to let people know about them so I don't have to keep explaining them Hopefully your teacher can do some, can help you with this experience and maybe like make things easier for you to explain. You, and remember, you don't owe anyone an explanation. So if you don't want to, you do not have to, but in my experience, it helped a lot. All right, so in my wallet here, we got Tina Belcher on it. ASMR, sorry. <laughs> okay, so in my wallet here, I have this card and it says, urgent medical notice, I have Tourette's. And um, the person holding this card has Tourette's syndrome. This is a nervous system disorder that involves repetitive movements or unwanted sounds. And it just explains what it is. And it's, it says some symptoms of Tourette's on the back. So if you have like a card or wanna get a card, I got this off Amazon because I, couldn't find a card anywhere. I found, I looked up Tourette's card and I got this off Amazon so I can just give it to people and they will know what's up. Okay, so no matter what you're gonna do, there's always gonna be someone that's gonna laugh at your tics. And in my experience, it's best just to laugh along. Just a lot, as long as someone's not laughing at me, they're laughing with me. If someone's like making fun of me and they always laugh at my tics and they glare at me whenever I tick, then I need to talk to my teacher about that. But if, um, or have a conversation with the student if you're comfortable with that. But if, usually if you laugh along, it makes things a little easier. Just don't be afraid to tell people what's up and what's going on with you because hopefully they will care and they will want to know. And remember, don't feel obligated to share anything you're not comfortable with. I hope these tips helped and have a good luck with your beginning of school. Yay, back to school. Please comment down below some more video ideas or videos you'd like to see. Um, it can be anything. Usually I'd like it to be something involving ticks or Tourette's. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want more content on ticks and Tourette's, go check out my comic Instagram, Comic Ticks, and my TikTok, Tick Click Pop. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>